Hey guys, Dr. Daniel Sugai, board certified dermatologist. Today, I just wanna say thank you again. I know I always say thank you on my videos, but today is very special because it really does mark my two years of being here on YouTube. I can't imagine a better way than celebrating it with all of you and also getting something in the mail the other week that I wanted to show you. I've gotten the Seattle Met Magazine Top Doctor Award a few years, but I feel like this really takes the cake. I mean, this is just so special. So I just want to say thank you guys for this recognition, this milestone, and I just hope we continue to grow together. I have to find a nice place to place it when I do my videos. Today's video will be a fun one. It's a, not only on retinoids, but also retinols with niacinamide. And it could be a cream, it could be a serum. Niacinamide is quite popular. I love the ingredient, but I always say be careful when you use it alone in a serum because niacinamide or vitamin B3 alone in a dedicated serum can cause irritation in some or even many people with sensitive skin if you have rosacea. Niacinamide is really nice to have it mixed into your say sunscreen like Elta MD UV Clear is a really nice sunscreen with niacinamide that's great for people with acne prone skin and rosacea prone skin because it has anti-inflammatory properties that niacinamide does and it also helps regulate sebum production so if you tend to clog your pores niacinamide is great to have mixed in with your cleansers, moisturizers, or sunscreens. Having it alone though people are are hoping for anti-aging benefits like brightening the skin. It can help lighten dark spots by itself. I mean, it could potentially do that, but I wouldn't say it's a stronger agent than say vitamin C or retinoids. I do believe though, pairing it with a retinoid, it's a dynamic duo. It's just beautiful to have your vitamin B3 and your retinoid working together and lightening dark spots. And I've been really working on my dark spots for some time. I always talk about how I, my roots stem back to Hawaii. I got my taste of Hawaii sun for multiple decades, couple decades before moving to Boston for my residence and see at Harvard. And so now I'm in Seattle where it's much less sunny and we have a lot more darkness. And the nice trade-off is I'm not getting as many freckles, sunspots, sun damage from the sun, which, you know, can manifest as red spots, white spots, brown spots, or a mixture of all of them together. And that's called poikiloderma of Savat, which you find on the neck and other parts of your body from chronic sun damage. And so I like retinoids to help increase cell turnover and thus lighten those dark spots. It helps keep your pores clean, helps with fine lines and wrinkles by increasing collagen production in your dermis and then having niacinamide mixed in, boom, you're gonna get that nice brightening effect. And also if you have oily skin, if you're using a retinoid for saying keeping your pores clean, the niacinamide will also work well with your retinol. Almost seems like too perfect of a pairing, but let's talk about the top five retinols that you can get over the counter that will have niacinamide mixed in already. Let's start off with one of the favorite OGs, the Olay Regenerous Retinol 24. Now this one has been a favorite of mine for some time from the beginning of my YouTube channel. Channel, I've been using this and they actually changed the packaging a bit. The label does say retinol 24 plus peptide. So the plus peptide is not an additional thing. It always had a peptide complex, that palmitoyl pentapeptide 4 complex in the OG packaging, but they updated it by probably being more consistent with their whole line. They have been talking about collagen and peptide. I am not a big fan of collagen in skincare right now because it's such a big protein that does it really help firm up the skin and go into your skin and incorporate itself in there. I'd probably say peptides are where it's at. Peptide are effective in increasing collagen production through cell signaling. This has a few studies and I'm talking to Olay's biochemists, they have studies of how it can help firm up your skin, increase collagen production. So I really appreciate having that retinoid action, which will increase your skin thickness, plus having the peptides and then also having vitamin B3 or niacinamide in this, which to me drew me into this brand and this product very early on because of that niacinamide. And as you can see here, whipped up frosting, I always say, you just put a small amount. I'm going to try out all the retinoids, but this just goes on so well, melts into the skin very well. I have multiple jars of this and you can get this at Costco, Amazon, but Costco has the best deal. You can get like a two for one deal at times. I did do a video on the regular Retinol 24 compared to the Max and I just have to stand by that video that I do prefer the feel of the regular Retinol 24 than the Max. Although if you are kind of saying you want to up your Retinol game, you want to increase the potency of the Retinol, you could consider the Max. This doesn't have any hyaluronic acid, it does have glycerin and so it is hydrating. If you're a beginner to retinols, I say this is a great solid option. 30 bucks for this jar. That will last you a long time. The potency of the retinoid itself, Olay does not disclose the percentage. If you are shopping for a product that is disclosing their retinol, I always say 0.25% and up is what you're looking for. You can find it up to even 2.5%. We talked about on the K-Beauty Style Vana video that caused the Baja retinol serum was 2.5% retinol. Quite powerful punch there, but didn't irritate my skin. I'm actually becoming a, quite a 
fan of that brand for sure. Actually, I have to double check if they have niacinamide because that would be another thing to add. It would be the Cos de Baja retinol. Oh yeah, I just had to stop the video because it was bothering me. The Cos de Baja retinol serum is with niacinamide. It has hyaluronic acid and vitamin E and it has a pure retinol 2.5%. So yes, I should add that on the list. Check that one out. Let's get down into more of the nitty gritty here. Let's talk about L'Oreal Paris Revitalift. This retinol is, I've actually been a fan of their retinol serum and the dropper has a nice yellow tinge to the dropper, but that one doesn't have niacinamide. This one does, you know, after you take off the cap, this is what you see and it just dispenses a large pea size amount. So if you push on it, Boom. And I'm just gonna apply here, just to this part of my face. And it goes on really nice. It has a nice cooling effect. Almost feels like it was in the fridge. If you're worried about the jar situation, this is airtight pump that dispenses a nice amount for your face. You could probably use the extra for your neck. Neck skin you have to be very careful with. It's more sensitive. And if you're a big time beginner to retinols, you might wanna moisturize your skin on your neck before applying a retinol. But I have to give this one a thumbs up for sure. I like L'Oreal Paris quite a bit. Their retinol serum is one to definitely check out because they will disclose that one is 0.3% pure retinol and I like that that they do disclose it so that one definitely check out but I wouldn't layer different retinols unless the brand intends it to like Neutrogena they intended their retinol oil to be layered with the regenerating cream but I would not layer the L'Oreal Paris retinol serum with this night cream keep them separate okay this one has glycerin and hyaluronic acid so I do like that it is plumping when you do have those humectants in your creams it does help draw in water more effectively and plump up your skin to hide those fine lines and wrinkles. Now you're going to go to bed with your retinoid on most likely. There are times when you might have a photostable retinol but most of the time I tell my patients and my friends here to apply your retinoid at night. Apply your vitamin C serum in the morning, retinoid, reserve it for nighttime. Also has panthenol in this which is both a hydrating player plus an emollient so it helps seal in that water or that moisture better into your skin so it doesn't evaporate as readily. So just a nice combination of different ingredients that I appreciate in a skincare product. Next, La Roche-Posay Retinol B3 Serum. Now this one here, this is a brand new box. I've gone through a couple bottles already in the last few years. So let's open this up. It comes with a dropper. So if you're, again, don't want to deal with the jar, consider this guy. So retinol is typically yellow. See that yellow tinge to it? Now if your vitamin C serum was coming out looking like this, and I say that's a little sketch, but so let's just put a, like one drop here just to put on my one part of my forehead here. Here, but I love the way this goes on. It just blends in very quickly and nicely. It leaves my skin feeling nice and smooth afterwards. This one has a gradual release retinol. Brands will typically do that because they don't want to have a fast release retinol that can irritate your skin. They want a gradual release of the active ingredient so that it doesn't irritate your skin all at once. So a pretty simplified ingredient list. It has glycerin, which is hydrating. It's a humectant that draws in water. It has hyaluronic acid, which is another great humectant that works just as well as glycerin. It has a niacinamide with the retinol. And then you might see here that it has a retinol palmitate. It has vitamin E. Those are just supporting actors. Retinol palmitate is less potent than retinol, but I'd say the main player is the retinol niacinamide. And then the vitamin E is a nice antioxidant. For people with fragrance sensitivities, I would have to say that this is something you might want to avoid because it does have fragrance in it. It's not powerful. It's very subtle. I have no issues with fragrance. I don't want to demonize fragrance. You know, I actually do like some fragrance in my skincare at times. But if you do have a known sensitivity to fragrance or you have sensitive skin, if you have rosacea, you might want to stick with fragrance-free products. So just a heads up, this one does have fragrance, okay? All right, now let's talk about something that's a little bit more expensive, but I do like Kiehl's. I've talked about Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream on the Today Show, non-sponsored shout out on that. But I have really liked their niacinamide retinol serum here. Now this isn't a pump. It is lightweight, but not like in a dropper bottle where it's almost liquidy. This is actually almost like a lotion the way it comes out. And it's the retinol skin renewal doing daily microdose serum. Let me show you how it comes out. One pump gives you that large pea-sized amount and let me treat this side of my forehead. It goes on really well. So this is the probably, see that yellow tinge? This is probably the retinol I've used most recently in the last six weeks. I've been using this a lot. One of those like instantly fell in love moments and I have to say good job Kiehl's because this is a winner. I do like this one a lot. Yes, we all wish that it could be more affordable but we're talking about Kiehl's here. It's a very nice brand. They do everything really well and that's where just like something like their moisturizer 
moisturizer. I'll splurge on and it hasn't irritated my skin. It has ceramides in it. Ceramides, as you guys know, is part of the glue that keeps our skin cells together. We have our stratum corneum, which is the top layer of our epidermis. That layer is consisted of like a brick and mortar configuration and the skin cells are like your bricks. And then in between is the glue and you have like cholesterol, these fatty acids. And so ceramides are part of that. And without it, you have a compromised skin barrier or a broken dilapidated brick wall. Then you lose moisture. When you lose moisture, your skin gets dehydrated, wrinkly, dull looking, and you want to have a good barrier because it keeps all the bad stuff out. Bacteria, the viruses, the allergens, keeps them all out. The ceramides in this is a nice touch. Peptides, it also has peptides, which we talked about. Cell signaling helps with our skin thickness. It helps increase collagen production. So things I like to see uh, in a retinol, those goodies. If you're paying more for a product, you want to see those goodies. It has glycerin, hyaluronic acid, which are the humectants that draw in water to plump up your skin. Pretty common theme here. We're seeing in these nice retinol serums or creams. It also has sunflower seed oil, which is very moisturizing, has niacinamide, the retinol, the peptides, the ceramides, all great things. This is 1.7 fluid ounces. The price though, $86 for 1.7 fluid ounces. Sorry guys, but I'd say this is definitely bringing in all of the best, the best of both worlds here. It's like people who don't want to deal with a jar. You have a nice pump here if you don't want to deal with a dropper. And then also having everything you want. If you're in your mid thirties like myself, I want the peptides. I want to respect the skin barrier and, and keep the moisture in so that I can have max hydration and hide those fine lines and wrinkles. Plus they'll have a retinol that won't irritate my skin. This is a micro dose serum. So you're just having a small dose and also a slow release, I believe with this. And so it's really good for beginners who haven't tried a prescription retinoid like tretinoin yet. And they want to start off with something that is by a trusted brand. You're going to pay for it here. This is serum, but it's actually, as you saw, the texture is a little thicker, almost nearing a cream. It's a lotion to slash cream consistency. So that one pump just kind of does the thinking for you. That should be enough to put dots on your face and then maybe put a little bit extra on your neck and you're set to go. So I think Kiehl's did a really good job there. It rubs in very well. I say the price is justified. Now, the next one I'm going to talk about is CeraVe. Now, my wife, I had to talk to her last night. I was like, honey, where did our CeraVe uh, resurfacing retinol go? She's like, the purple one? I'm like, no, not the purple one. You know that we still got that because we, I did do a comparison between the two and I don't want the renewing one. I want the resurfacing one. The resurfacing one has an niacinamide in it and she said oh we used it all up so I'm gonna have to go and find a target we're gonna go do that and I'll finish up this review so I'll be right back All right, I just got back from Fred Meyer. I tried Target out and it was all sold out. So I went to the grocery store, Fred Meyer, here in the Seattle area. Under $20, very affordable. Comes in a nice one fluid ounce pump. What's nice about it is that CeraVe has ceramides. The VE at the end of CeraVe is relating to their MVE technology or multivesicular emulsion technology where they have these spheres with different layers and it has all these nice little ingredients that slowly release over time, whether it's your hydrating cleansers, or your moisturizers, Sarah V. The Sarah obviously is the ceramides, and it usually is a blend of three different ceramides that are nicely shaped. They really help go into the skin, top layer of skin, do its magic in repairing, restoring the skin barrier. This is not a paid sponsorship with Sarah V, but I just wanted to explain that portion of it. Niacinamide in it, of course. But what I also like about it is that it has licorice root extract in this. Licorice root is nice in lightening dark spots. So we have niacinamide, retinol, and licorice root extract to work on our dark spots. I prefer this over the purple one, the renewing retinol serum, because this one just feels better on the skin. And I just like the ingredients in this, having the licorice root extract to really work on your discoloration. They say post acne marks and pores. The scarring wise, if you have deep scarring, the retinols probably won't do much, but it won't, it won't hurt. It would just help with maybe bringing in new collagen. But if you have deep, deep acne marks, I know people have asked me on that previous video, you might need to go see a dermatologist to talk about devices to resurface and bring in new collagen if it's a deeper acne scar. But if you have hyperpigmentation in your scarring or post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, this is probably just fine as well. Okay, so let's put this on my face. So that's a large pea sized amount here. Break it up into two parts. Dots on my face. Don't forget your nose. And then connect the dots. And it just glides on so nicely, blends in quickly. You do this at bedtime. Although this one is encapsulated, this retinol. So this might be photostable. You can apply a little bit more on your neck. And then go right ahead and put a moisturizer over it. This one says you can apply daily. They don't specify 
justify nighttime use, so it might be stable in the sun with this encapsulated nature. I am very familiar with this retinol. I've been using it for the last couple years and it works very well. It works very well for me. But again, there's no one size fits all in skincare. With I say that I subjectively like something, it feels good on my face. It could irritate yours potentially. So always start with one product at a time. Don't go crazy and buy a bunch and use it all at once. Use one at a time and space it out about a week or two apart. If you have a history of very sensitive skin, you might want to patch test on your neck or your inner arm for a couple of days or just a day and see if it will cause any irritation on your inner arm. Retinol, as we talk about, is inherently irritating to the skin, especially when you start off as a beginner. So always start slow, not every night, but every other night or just once a week if you want to. And you can consider the retinol sandwich where you moisturize before and after if you're a beginner. But for me, I've been doing retinols for quite some time. I will moisturize after the retinol is applied and just use a pea size amount because using more won't give you faster results or better results. Okay guys, so I hope this video is helpful. Those are my top picks. Uh, retinols with niacinamide, one of my favorite ingredients. So please hit the like button. Please share with your friends who are interested in retinol or anti-aging skincare. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys again. And I'll see you for the next video. Peace.